trumpet sound the alarm that the day of the Lord is at hand. The Jerusalem call began with repentance and the tearing down of walls between Jew and Gentile believers. When Jesus walked here 2,000 years ago and, he was, and Pilate said, here, Behold, here is your king. And the people said, No, we don't have a king, but we have Caesar. And thus rejected Yeshua, Jesus, is our king and our Messiah and Savior. And as Israeli believers, Lord, we repent of that because we want to have you as our king, as our Messiah, as our Lord. Likewise, Gentile leaders repented for not fully appreciating their Jewish roots. We're but branches grafted in. There's a depth that's here in Jerusalem and among these people that I never honored. And I believe part of the key for the great awakening of the end of the age is the honoring of the root. Thanks to God TV, millions of believers around the world are joining with believers here in Jerusalem to pray not only for worldwide revival, but that the Jews here in Israel will come to know Jesus, Yeshua, as their Messiah. Everything is accelerating, and we who live here in the land, uh, we feel it. We're in some ways we're we're really in the on the center. We're, we're on the front lines yeah. of the battle, and it, it really is ultimately a battle for the return of the Lord. You know, because Jesus will not return until the Jewish people will say Baruch Haba B'Shem Adonai, Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Global Day of Prayer founder Graham Power said, Never before have so many believers been able to join together to pray for the nations. It's amazing to think that today 214 of the 220 nations are all praying together over an 18 hour span. We are literally in, in at least a measure of the fulfillment where millions, maybe hundreds of millions, are turning their heart, praying in Jerusalem, and thousands have come here. We're in a day of fulfillment of prophecy. It means to me that Jesus is coming soon. <laughs>